Well, today addressed the 25th session of the World Economic Forum on Africa, which enters its second day. Earlier, President Zuma said the meeting, which is underway in Cape Town, would showcase Africa as a key investment destination. Now, for the latest on the WEF, let's now cross to SABC economics reporter Mbongeni Mutua from the ICC in Cape Town. Mbongeni, a very good morning to you. And can you tell us now, it is day two of the WEF on Africa. What can we expect today? Well, uh, thank you, Elvis. Uh, the World Economic Forum 2015 is well and truly underway now. Uh, in a short while, at 11, we're going to have the official opening session, uh, which, of course, will be chaired by President Zuma and uh, the founder of WEF, uh, Professor Klaus Schwab. Um, and the focus there is going to be on this uh, ongoing challenge of youth unemployment and poverty. It's, it's something that is persistent, that uh, the leaders have to grapple with and they have been grappling with. It just it remains constant. Right now, I am joined by our Minister of Arts and Culture, uh, Natim Teswa. Uh, I believe uh, you are still also the acting uh, Minister of uh, the Department of Public Service and Administration. Minister, thank you very much for joining us. First of all, you're looking nice and bright. You, you're looking good. Are you feeling good? Are you feeling uh, great about, about WEF so far? Absolutely. Uh, maybe from the onset, let me apologize for my voice. Uh, it flew. But uh, it's, it's, it's an important stage for us. Um, it's a stage where we have to showcase uh, our, our country uh, from the to the business world, uh, our continent, and say that uh, this continent of ours is the fastest growing continent economically. And anybody who's looking for any investment must look into the continent, the country. This uh, WEF uh, coming uh, on the footsteps of Africa Month, which we have uh, been celebrating the whole month of May, essentially emphasizing the point that uh, integration is key for us in the continent. This billion people in the continent are the asset where we have as, as Africa. So it, it's, it's quite important. Um, and what will make it even more lucrative is the vision of uh, the continent uh, in the AU uh, Agenda 2063. And uh, we are here interacting with everybody, business, civil society, and everybody to say that look, look our way. Absolutely. 18 cabinet ministers. This is the unprecedented. 18 cabinet ministers and a number of deputy ministers of South Africa are here. That's about half the entire cabinet. What, 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 what can you read into that? Why this uh, unprecedented uh, attendance and effort that the government is putting into this, this time around? Well, it's in line with the, the economic recovery program, uh, which we are involved in as, as a country, because uh, you would know that in terms of our priorities, uh, economic growth and development uh, becomes very important. It's, it's, it's the anchor of all other programs which government has to uh, roll out for the entire society. And therefore, um, different aspects, uh, be the agriculture uh, sector, be the uh, uh, ocean economy and so on, um, the ICT sector, which plays a key role, um, and also the creative industries uh, sector. It's, it's a whole host of things which point to one direction that what is it that we need to do more for our economic growth, for the recovery in the crisis. You would know that uh, when the crisis started around 2008, 2009, we were shielded uh, by and large by our infrastructure uh, rollout program. And even at this time around, we are investing more uh, in the infrastructure rollout uh, program uh, precisely for economic stimulation, because that has to happen for us to see this growth we are all talking about. So we need partners uh, for such big uh, uh, development. If we are to integrate our economies in the continent, we definitely have to have strong partners, we have to have strong investors, and people who know that 
Africa uh, and South Africa being part of that has hope for the future, has plans for the future. Um, it's not a, a continent of uh, handouts per se, but partnering is the key for all of us to move forward. Now, since yesterday, there have been a lot of interactions, meetings, side events. Uh, in fact, last night, the president hosted a dinner with uh, captains of industry, CEOs and so on, um, which was a private uh, uh, dinner. What, what, what are you getting uh, as you interact uh, with the foreign delegates here, foreign investors and so on? What are they saying? Well, firstly, uh, the, the fact that uh, when you look at all other regions or all other continents, as it were, um, and, 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 and project into the future, everybody agrees that uh, Africa is the place to look into. Um, what investors and other captains of industry have been looking into uh, from our point of view is how safe and how sustainable uh, will their investment be. And we, we, we've been making a point that uh, while you are here in South Africa, holding is here in South Africa, it is a safe uh, place. The stability, this democracy, the strong institutions of democracy in the country, our financial services sector is strong as ever before and so on. Our uh, infrastructure rollout program, which aims to, amongst others, deal with the very important point you raised earlier on of youth unemployment. Minister Mtesha, we thank you very much for your time and uh, have a great conference. Uh, well, that's it for now here. Of course, later uh, today, there's going to be the launch of what is called the Africa Competitive Nep competitiveness report of WEF. Uh, it's something that uh, most people will be looking forward to, to see how the continent is doing in terms of being competitive in the global economy. Uh, right now, we can uh, catch the latest on the sports front with Kendall.